So when we, we mean access, when we talk about access, we mean really increasing the number of low income first generation and students of color who enter into institutions of higher education. How are we doing on those numbers? Let me share with you just a couple of statistics about California. In California, <coughs> excuse me, only 13% of Latino and 15% of African American ninth graders are eligible to apply to a UC or a CSU four years later. Why are we having such a hard time achieving educational equity? Mm -hmm. I think we live in a society that has warped priorities. We need to learn from those countries where not just education, but recognizing that precious young brothers and sisters of all colors are the future and students are the caretaker of those precious young folk. And therefore, education is a matter of national security in the same way Afghanistan is, in the same way Iraq is, in the same way the military budget is. So if you look back, you know, to growing up in Chicago, if you look back to um, all of the things that you've had to overcome, what were some of the turning points in your story that allowed you to be successful when so many students with stories and backgrounds similar to yours aren't able to overcome those challenges? And I went to the Latin School of Chicago where I graduated and I had scholarships there. So one, it was a mixture of great teachers, programs like A Better Chance or Foundation for College Education. Why should we prepare all kids for college when some of them just don't have the talent to be able to persist and graduate or to succeed in the ways that you have? So I don't fetishize college at all. I want young people to go to college because I'm convinced that for them to be the best that they can be, that college is a good thing. But I just don't know. When they get there, they find out. The difference between education and schooling, mm -hmm. which is very important. See, James Baldwin was highly educated but his schooling ended at DeWitt High School in New York City. Why? Because he continually cultivated his sense of heart, mind, and soul. And he continually shifted from the frivolous to the serious, from the superficial to the substantial. Now, for some to go to school, to college, yes. And we push as many as we can. But for those who don't, they need to, they need to still be educated. Well, I have to agree that there's a difference between um, education and schooling. I, I think that's a really profound yeah. notion. And I know for us in Latino culture, um, ser educada doesn't mean having an education in the schooling sense of the word. It means to know how to be with people, to know how to be, maintain your dignity in yourself. Uh, it has a lot broader connotation than uh, to have just schooling. And so um, your parents, no matter how little education they may have in terms of schooling, can really school you in terms of how to be an educated person. Another notion that we seem to have lost track of as we educate students nowadays is that we thought that it was so important to educate people because they were going to be part of a democracy. And that's one of the reasons why everyone had to have a certain level of education so that they could be a participant in the decision making of what happens in our country. And from my perspective, it's very difficult if a person can't do math to figure out what the budget of our country should be and what expenditures we should have for education and uh, the military. And you can't have a discussion that makes any sense if you can't either read this information or you can't do the math involved. So to a certain extent, I think we really need to have an education that places high expectations of people in the sense of getting schooled because our society is becoming more complicated, not less complicated. And in the world that we're a part of, People have to be able to engage with people from, you know, not just where they grow up, but perhaps around the entire world. And with us um, trying to educate people to a, a level where they can make a contribution in the world with the complex problems that we have, I really think we need to have high standards and that the basic college 
prep curriculum of really knowing how to think and read and write critically, knowing how to do um, math and have the abstract ability, abstraction ability that you can with more advanced math. Those are really important kinds of fundamental capabilities that people need to have in order to function in our society here in the United States and to be part of the world, 